Hi, it's Dr. Lee, and this is part 19 of God Encounters. And I'm going to call this one, let's see. Oh, I'm going to call uh, this one, Keep It Moving TV program. And so, um, on this uh, video, I'm going to use my favorite, well, I should say, let me grab my phone. Everything is on the floor today. Uh, I'm going to use my one of my favorite scriptures. And I probably, I will, I'm not saying probably, I know I probably used it, used it before, maybe one, more than one time, but that's fine, but I love it. This is a scripture that I use every day. And this scripture here, Romans 8 and 28, um, KJV, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Romans 8 and 28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. I mean, I love all scripture, but that is just my go-to scripture. I say it every, every morning. I say it throughout the day because whenever just life is happening, things are not, you know, going like maybe you should think they're going plan on somebody working your nerves or something, you're running late or you, you you know, something didn't add up. You, you thought you had 10, but you only got six. You know, whatever's going on, I have to say that scripture to myself to let myself know even this too will be used. And now that I do that, I'm telling it's just like a life changer, a game changer. But um, we uh, keep it moving. TV program. Uh, I may have mentioned some of this stuff in another video, but I have the shirt on here. I'm going to see if I can show you the shirt. This is a um, t-shirt that uh, God's blessed with. Um, let go. It says let go, let God, and keep it moving. So everything we do is like keep it keep it moving so I like I, said, I had a, a, a TV program that played like in 28 counties and I um, I did it for like two years and then I went off air because of the situation with my baby baby in the hospital eight months so I had to drop everything but uh, with that um, through that process while I was going on you know the devil take you know take your mind your your body your soul however and I'm like you know we spend this money Lord um, on um, trying to reach souls and you know you start thinking like a lot of people are already doing you know am I even making a difference you know the, you know is this even you know do I even matter what I'm saying does it even matter you know um, you know this is costing a lot of money time effort I already got you know one child others in the hospital I did you know you just start getting all these things that most time probably come from the devil and your flesh and your thoughts and you're tired and, and I'm like um I don't you know I don't know if it's even worth it doing this TV stuff, and you know, it's just it's just too much to go on behind it, too costly, just too time consuming. And I just, I, 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 I just don't know. I'm like having um, doubts. Is, is this even benefit anybody? You know, and so um, I never forget my phone um, rung, and uh, when I answered the phone, it was a lady that actually watched my television program, and it was my personal cell phone number. So that's why I was like stunned, like. How she had my number, that's the first thing. So I asked her, so how did you get my, my personal cell phone number? And she said, well, and it was interesting. She said she was looking, and she said it popped up on the screen. I was like, how did my number pop up on the screen? And with that, she wanted to tell me that she enjoyed my show, and that she loved watching, she looked forward, forward to it, and she just liked seeing me, and she just did that. And she was like, I want to buy one of your books, and that, that, you know. Long story short, the woman still called me to this day. She had my phone every so month. So often, even though my um, television program is not on, I need to let her know about the YouTube videos, but she, um, she will, uh, she'll call and just check on me and just talk. And she actually bought my book. And I was actually in a town that she was um, living in, and I had one of my um, little cousins to drop her the book off. And she um, got the money and paid for my book, and um, my cousin dropped it off. And it was just kind of interesting that... Whenever you're in doubt or something and you just turn it over to God and, you know, Satan will feed you all kind of negative things and try to beat your spirits down. And he'll let you know that your money that you're using for the kingdom is just getting blown, messed up, that what you're doing, your energy, just, you know, it ain't worth it, you know. And so you can go through that kind of um, stuff at times, especially when you're working in ministry. You're like, okay, I don't know if it's even, even worth it, you know. And so with that, and like I said, that's been a couple of years ago, but with it all... 
that that lady however she got my number and to this day I cannot figure it out and even um call my sister my sister's the one that designed our website um the the website on there and I just I mean how God work out everything my sister that's what she does for letters what she has degrees in and she just um she designed the website but she says she doesn't see my number or how you know so it's just interesting how the lady says she got my number that has never happened um, before and then we look for my number on it and we could not find my number but she had the number and every so often she just like to call and check on me and she'll call and she um you know, just give me some encouraging words and just you know ask me when i'm gonna go it just it's just i don't know just a good feeling that what you see is the hand of God is that you got this one thought and God will use somebody you don't even know to that, that, that for whatever reason they enjoy you, they want to give you a lifting word and, and uplifting word and that's what they do and they give it to you at a time that's like perfect, like only, only God would know this so this woman that don't even know anything about me as far as to see me on TV made me know that how much she enjoyed the show and how much it was helping her and that she watched it and, you know and all this stuff so with that, um, not only that, um, I think I may have told about this before, another episode, uh, another part. But like even here, if you can see it, that's, um, let me see if I can see right here. That's our logo, Keep It Moving logo. And even with that, how God blessed with, um, to, to, get, to get that logo done. This, I was on the computer one day and um, this guy name popped up on my computer screen in Seattle, Washington. Um, and he did all the, he was a graphic design artist and he blessed us to do all of this, this work. And he did such a fantastic job and God used him. I don't know him and I paid him and he just did all my graphic design work. And this, like, I think I showed this in another video. This is one of the bags that we always put the book here. We had pens and bookmarkers. And I said, this is the, the um, shirt, let go, let God, that, you know, I'm always saying it at most, at, I try to say it, um, most of the videos are higher because I let me see if I can get up without falling. <laughs> let go, let God, and keep it moving. So I know people that have this shirt, they always tell me when they wear it, people come up and say, I love that saying. I like um, like that. And then that my, like, if they, like they'll say, you know, my friend or my, you know, whoever, whatever I am to them, I'll say, them, that's one of the sayings that um, she says. So let go, let God, and keep it moving. So that's our ministry name, Keep It Moving Ministries. And, um, that's what people, they know me, they know everything's about keep it moving. And like the house that we're in now, we call it the Keep It Moving Ministry House and everything is keep it moving. And I even had people to call me, um, Dr. Kim. It's fun, like Dr. Kim, keep it moving because that's what they remember. So with that, I'm saying that how God can just use, he just show up and manifest in your life in all kinds of ways. I mean, daily, daily, I mean, as much as he want to. If we allow him and sometimes um, when it go and get tough and things just not going the way you think they should go or you you know you believe they should go God can use anybody to get his message to you to to show you that he hears you that you know you have this God encounter that you know it had to be God for the timing the, the, the direct timing of the um, the incident or for the person to bring the message at that particular time and they don't even know you so a lot of times God will use a complete stranger or somebody that know you but don't know anything about what what your thoughts are and he would have that person bring the message to you and let you know okay this is it I mean it could be in that TV commercial whatever it is that God used to get you a point a message so with that um God to show up however he wants to um, show up in your life so if you're not in spirits in these God encounters I would say that I started experience I've been experiencing them but not like every day like I've been now at least I hadn't noticed it but now I notice them like every day but my spiritual life is different now. My spiritual walk is different. I mean, I'm all about God. I'm 100% sold out. You have to surrender 100%. And if you don't know what that mean, I mean, it's you, you just have to give everything to God. You have to just do your study and research, and God will let you know more about the things you need to give up and you know seeking Him and getting to know Him. So if you don't know Christ, I would like for you to get to know him. He's a life changer, a game changer. And if you don't have your um, salvation um, locked, all you need to do is repent of your sins. Say, Father, I repent of my sins. You know, and I accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my Lord and Savior. And, you know, I, I believe he rose, you know, in three days. And he's alive. 
you know, and your salvation. I mean, it's so easy. It's not, some of you make things so tough and so hard and that you got to be so deep. And God knows your heart. And all he want to know is that, um, that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. And that Jesus Christ is the way. So all you do, give it up to him, repent, and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. It's no perfect way that you have to do it. God knows your heart. Just seek him and do it how the Holy Spirit leads you to do it. And if you know Christ, please grow your relationship. Don't stay the same day after day. Start letting God just show up in your life in all kinds of ways. But in order for him to do that, you got to seek him. You got to seek him. So if you already know him, seek him more. Because he has so much. I mean, he has like some of a plenty. A plenty. So, anywho, I'm Dr. Lee. And thank you for watching. And as always, let go. Let, let God and keep it moving. Be blessed. And thank you for watching.